Hey everyone, this week I wanted to make a short video sharing with you a place which I always enjoy visiting. A small village of Roslyn in Long Island, which is about 17 miles away from Manhattan. When I was in graduate school and did not have much time on the weekends, but still wanted to get away for a little while, this was one of those top places on my list. I loved it. I grabbed a cup of coffee on the main street and just enjoyed a short walk around the pond for an hour or so which always re-energized my battery so that I could have sat down later and finished that darn research paper which every semester I promised myself I will work on earlier and be better on. But that never happened. I always get things done but always at the last minute. And now this is even true for my YouTube videos. Some people like skydiving for adrenaline or bungee jumping. I guess last minute work is a form of adrenaline for me. I will show you just few places in Roslyn, but this will certainly not be a detailed tour or anything like that. But first, let's stop by Gary Park. As you first enter the park, the first thing that catches your attention is this beautiful statue of a horse and its groomer. This actually has a fascinating history as this statue is a replica of the original one which was created for the French king Louis XV and was completed in 1745. Just like the original work, so this replica as well, there were two statues which stood at the estate of Clarence McKay. McKay was the president of the McKay Radio and Telegraph Company and he worked on some remarkable projects. For example, he supervised the first Trans-Pacific cable being laid which not just connected islands in the Pacific with the United States, so like Hawaii, Guam, Midway Islands, but it was a cable running all the way to Shanghai in China, hence connecting Asia with the United States. McKay's estate, which is not far from where we are standing right now, was one of the largest estates on Long Island. However, after his death, the mansion was demolished and the land sold. Today, there are still three structures which date back to the days of the great estate and mansion. Of course, not counting the statues. And they are the Gate Lodge, which you see right here, the entrance. Not far away, we have the Water Tower, which was part of the estate's design. And then, a little further away, there is also the Dairy Men's Cottage, which you see here. Hence, there are still some traces of the past, and a statue like this standing in the park not only adds to the scenery, but it's also a time capsule for anyone interested in the history it has to offer. As you go into the park, on the right-hand side, you do have some memorials, for example, a memorial to the firefighters and EMS, Emergency Medical Service Workers of Roslyn, a World War I memorial, and the Patriots Memorial for those who fought to preserve liberty and freedom of this country. I think the placement of these is fantastic as they are a little bit further away from the street and it does give a nice quiet atmosphere of thought. But one thing to be aware of, there is always plenty of geese and ducks here, so just, you know, try to look where you are stepping and ducks process food very quickly. Again, I don't even know why I know this or where I read this, but they process food in less than two hours or something like that, which means they're always pooping. And you know, it doesn't look like a war zone around here, but it's something to be on the lookout. There is a nice playground for the kids and behind it is the Roslyn Pond. There, on the other side, you can see the village with one of the main streets running behind the buildings. As you see in this video, I have a mixture of images as one of the trips was in the summer of last year 
and I want to show you some of these as they really demonstrate the beauty of this place. The same in the fall, with the trees changing their leaves and colors, it's, it's gorgeous. However, I went again a few days ago to add to some of the footage and make a video out of it as when I was here in the summer I did not really think about YouTube yet. Well, in fact, it was here I really realized that maybe I will enjoy beginning a YouTube channel. And so shortly afterwards, everywhere I went, I began to take just some pictures and record things, and hence here we are putting all of these together now. As I mentioned, it is a quiet and beautiful, relaxing atmosphere which just gives you time to think and, and do some reflection. And this is why here I begin thinking that most of my time is really dedicated to running around with various committees and historical organizations. This is generally what we professors do. It's not because we only like it, but it also serves other purposes. For example, um, it's really to add to our resume sometimes to hopefully advance through the ranks. But generally, I wanted to start doing something that would really be meaningful and add some value to whoever comes across it. And I figured a YouTube channel might do just that. And so I began it about three months ago with really no knowledge of editing. I never edited videos before or no knowledge of YouTube. Well, of course, I know how YouTube works, but I never had a channel or created content which I was putting together and uploading. And now I look back after a few videos and it's just interesting to see the growth and what I would really sort of call like an organic learning process. As maybe some of you watched my earlier videos, I was really just learning how to do all of this on my own and slowly I am beginning to get better at this. And in fact, the last maybe four or five videos I posted Again, not 100% perfect, but still pretty good. And I am very happy with them compared to my initial videos, which I think gave good content and information, but the videos, the editing was a little bit of a lower quality. So as I take you through this park, I figured, hey, I'll give you a little bit of an insight into my thought process before diving deeper into who I am as a person and creator of this channel as we continue this year. Now, let me show you a little bit of Roslyn as we step away from the park itself. Walking through the streets is really interesting because you see all these older homes, many of which were built in the late 1800s even. Or this one called Eastman Cottage from 1870. So now, what, more than 150 years old? That's pretty cool. Here at the intersection of roads, we have the Memorial Clock Tower from 1895. It was built by the children of Ellen Ward in her memory. Speaking of older homes, by the Memorial Clock Tower, we have what today is Hendrick's Tavern. This building was originally built for Hendrick Underdong, who built the first paper mill in New York State in 1773. And just to show you his importance, George Washington visited himself here in 1790, so right after he became the first president of the United States. Not far away is a mill which also eventually became the property of Hendrick. Although it was a grist mill built even before Hendrick took it over. Grist mills are essentially places where cereal grains were grinded into things like uh, flour, for example. It's believed to be built between 1715 and 1741. And as you see here, it says later served as a tea house starting in 1920. Here are some images from last year as it was undergoing restoration. And here is how it looks like today in March in 2024. I also encourage walking through the main road, which is actually called Old Norton Boulevard, as there are many interesting local stores, shops, a thrift store, 
those I love. I always go into them in search of unique books. Just last month, I bought two books from a thrift store out in Long Island about the history of Bronx. And I still did not have the time to read them, but I'm pretty sure they will come in handy as we will visit Bronx at some point this year. Down the road, we even come across the old fire station as the new one is now being used. So I hope you enjoyed this short trip into Roslyn and I am happy I was able to show you another location here in New York. And like always, if you have not subscribed, please consider it as it will cost you nothing and it will only boost my ego. And I will see you soon in another video. Stay safe out there.